All right, so I've got interactive glass coming to phase two of my Prop US 7 style library. So that replaces your original blast effect, which is just you press the button and you see it on the blade with a new interaction. Um, so now it does use a new sound, but when I press my blast button, what's going to happen is I'm going to hear a blaster sound and I have to react to it, and that's the interactive part. If I deflect, I will see and hear the visual effect of the blaster deflection, which is a separate sound. Uh, but interactive blast means you're going to hear blaster sounds and then you have to choose whether or not to deflect them. Um, there's going to be several options. I have a couple ready. A couple are still in development, but they'll be coming shortly. Um, this one is a continuous one. So for every blast I deflect, I will then, within a short period of time, hear another blaster sound that I have to react to. Um, and this one will technically go on forever. Um, I do have other versions which have uh, randomization of how many blasts occur, etc. Um, but those are still, I'm still working on the timings on those to get them just right for everybody. Um, but they will be added to phase two shortly after launch. I just don't think I'll have them ready for launch. Um, but this one will be, so that's why I'm demoing it. So when you do your blast effect with interactive blast, you hear the blaster firing sound and you have to react to it. And the reaction just has to be a short little quick deflection movement. Um, if you do no movement, there is no blast deflection. Um, and that's because either they missed uh, or you didn't need, you dodged the blaster fire. Um, but so you'll hear a blaster sound first, and then only if I go to deflect it will you see and hear the deflection sound. And as long as I'm deflecting, it'll keep going. And that time I won't deflect, and then it stops the effect. Um, so as soon as you stop deflecting in continuous, it stops. Um, so the movement is really a quick change of angle of the blade. So it's not a full swing. It's just a quick movement of the blade to change the angle like you're deflecting. So you, you can kind of, because I'm standing sideways, you kind of just want to get the blade moving, and that'll deflect it. Um, and then, um, like I said, continuous means every time you deflect, you'll get another blaster sound shortly thereafter. Um, the blaster sounds do have to be in your font, um, so they are new sounds. I know some fonts include them, um, but you may have to kind of look around for them. It can be any sound you want, but it, it's meant there are now two sounds associated with the effect. There's the blaster firing, which would be what you're reacting to, and then there's the normal blast sound. So the normal blast sound in most Profi fonts is actually the blast deflecting off the blade. That's the existing sound and that's what creates the visual effect and that's what you obviously need in your font. But for interactive blast you also need a second sound. It has a different file name. It's really only a difference of a letter. Um, but B-L-A-S-T dot wave is your blaster firing. And this will be in the style information. So when you generate the style code from the library, the top section will include the sounds you need to in order to do this. Um, this is a little more advanced feature so there is some setup with this. Um, but this also replaces your blast effect. So if you put an interactive blast style into your preset and you're using my prop which is required for interactive blast, your normal blast effects are all interactive. So even if you add a, even though you include a blast, a blast effect like you did in the past, you can't actually access it with your blast button because you need the blaster firing sound and you need to react to that sound. Um, but the blast sound, the blaster sound, you just have to add to your font. The blast sounds and effects are all like they used to be. It's just the trigger for those, instead of being a button press, is actually your reaction to hearing the sound. So obviously if you don't have the sounds in there, there's nothing to react to, you really can't do it. Um, but there'll be information in the style code and anybody who has questions obviously can ask them. Um, but so interactive blast is coming to phase two. Now phase two is early access, so if you're one of my early access patrons, you'll be getting that. Um, I am expected to, I'm expecting to uh, launch it this weekend. I'm um, doing this video. I have a couple videos I have to do just to help explain some of this new stuff. Um, once those videos are done, I have to add them to the library. I've got to clean up a little bit of code, um, do a couple last minute tests, but I'm trying to get that all done for this weekend. So as soon as it's ready, hoping for over this weekend, it will launch to my uh, phase it will launch my early access patrons, and this is part of that. There's a lot of stuff coming, actually, which is why i got to make some videos. Uh, but so, Interactive Blast, 
I'll do it one more time for those hanging out. Uh, but you do have to have the sounds, and you do obviously have to add the style code to make this work. So that is coming, and there will be, oh, the last piece I forgot to mention, um, the sensitivity, so how long you have to react is actually going to be editable in the new version. So uh, those of you who joined me for my live uh, preview of Phase 2, um, originally it was just a fixed setting that you choose in the library, um, but I was able to make it editable through edit mode, uh, Propios Workbench, or Style Arguments. Um, so you can actually, the night setting that's defaulted in the library is probably the best, um, just from playing around with it. It's, it's not so long that it doesn't feel natural, but it's also not so quick that you have to like legitimately be a Jedi to block stuff. Um, but what the timing is, is it's how long after the blaster firing sound happens that you have to do that deflection for it to count. Um, so that will be editable though. So if you find that it's a little too, it's a little too quick and you can't do it, um, after you've loaded the code, you can, if you have edit mode enabled or if you're using Workbench, um, you can go in and edit and adjust that time. It's essentially, it's just milliseconds for a reaction. So blaster sound plays, you have this number of milliseconds to react to that sound, and that's what creates the blaster deflection. If you don't react within that amount of milliseconds, then no deflection visual occurs, no deflection audio occurs, and for the continuous version like this, no subsequent blast will occur. Um, there are other versions in development that will have just a random number of blaster firings, um, whether or not you deflect them, so I have that. I just have to work on the timings for those, um, and I haven't had as much time because I'm trying to get everything else ready. Uh, but those I'll add to the library as soon as they're ready. Um, and a few other things are coming. Um, but so interactive blasts, there'll be a couple at launch, and then there'll be some more added in the future uh, for all my early access patrons. So keep an eye out. Um, there will be several other videos coming because I'm making videos on these new features. Um, and then once everything's ready to go, I will do a formal announcement to my early access patrons and you guys can start playing around with this stuff, but definitely read the style information that includes. Um, most of these new features in Phase 2 have additional font and sound setups because they are more advanced. Um, so definitely make sure you're reading what the style code is producing because it's trying to set you up for how to get this stuff to work properly. Um, I can't always answer questions, but part of the building of the library is including the information for you to be able to set it up yourself. So, uh, tons of stuff coming. This is just one little piece again, um, but I know everybody's looking forward to this one, so hope you enjoy.